Hi everyone and welcome to today's painting tutorial. So today I'm going to take you through how I painted another Cities of Sigma steed from the Free Guild Cavalier unit. And uh, today's horse breed is going to be the Palomino horse breed. So over a Chaos Black undercoat, however any undercoat will do just fine, I'm just going to begin by applying a base coat of Mournfang Brown. Now see how the first base coat goes, however you might want to do a second one. So with the Mornfang Brown now done, I'm going to move on to Scrag Brown and essentially really just going over the entirety of the Mornfang Brown. And now to begin highlighting the Scrag Brown, I'm going to use Death Club Brown. And I should mention as well, uh, using my Raphael 8404 size 1 brush for this. Um, just trying to get a really smooth transition, and as you can see as well, just leaving a little bit of that Scrag Brown visible in the recesses of the muscles. For this particular breed, I did want to make the brown quite bright, uh, of course, that being bright, warm tones. Uh, as if you look up the Palomino horse, you'll find that uh, predominantly um, it is this uh, sort of light, warmer brown tone. And I have got my paint at a really nice consistency, so of course, uh, as always, add a little bit of water, not too much, but just enough uh, that we get that smooth transition. Uh, and again, uh, if you do find that you need to do a second uh, coat over this to really smoothen it out, uh, by all means, go ahead. And now for an additional highlight, I decided to use Zemesi Desert. And still sticking with my Raphael 8404 size 1 brush for this. And as you can see, not a lot of paint on the brush and just using the tip of my brush. And of course with each 
aggressive highlight, just bringing out most of the muscle definition a little bit more. So mostly just clean edge highlighting, however, as you can see, a little bit of stippling as well. And at this point I was really happy with how the flesh was looking, however I wanted to brighten it up just a little bit more, so I decided to do a final highlight on the flesh with Avalanche Sunset. And uh, I really didn't want this particular highlight to be too strong, so as you can see, very minimal amounts of paint on the brush, and uh, I have watered down this one uh, slightly more. And now just to begin uh, with a base coat leading up to the blonde hair on the Palomino horse breed. I'm just looking at going approximately a quarter of the way up the leg, uh, maybe a little bit less, uh, with a base coat of Carrick Stone. And um, if you, again, if you need to 
do two coats of this, absolutely fine. And as you can see, I'm really just looking for as natural of a transition between the two colors as possible, just to make it look like uh, you know, as much like the uh, photo, of which uh, I will include in my thumbnail of the um, a real life version of the Palomino Steed, and you'll see exactly what I mean. So with the Carrick Stone now done, I'm just going to use uh, Yushabti Bone to begin highlighting the blonde hair. So as you can see, just working down from the point of which the Carrick Stone meets the uh, brown skin tone. And as an additional highlight, I'm now going to use Dawn Yellow by Citadel. And as you can see, mostly in the recesses, leaving the Shabti Bone and the Carrick Stone. And uh, I should mention as well, my apologies for the uh, darkened clip. Um, I accidentally must have uh, altered the settings uh, before I started filming this one. I did try and fix it. Um, in my video editing program. However, I was only able to get it slightly brighter, uh, not exactly the same as um, the, uh, the other clips, so.
and it's just a final touch for the nose of the, of the steed and of course the hair as well I decided to use Screaming Skull. Now I should mention uh, unfortunately I did miss out on filming the nose however it was uh, really simple I just used some Rhinox Hide watered down and uh, gradually blended that away so just essentially at the mouth and the nostrils and then did a one single highlight of Dawnstone again those two colors by Citadel so Rhinox Hide and Dawnstone and uh, now going over most of it with the Screaming Skull just to uh, add a little bit more definition to the color And here are some photos of the completed miniature. So I hope you found this tutorial useful today. Please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, leave a comment below of a tutorial uh, that you might like to see me do next. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you again in the next one.